Alright guys, this is Def King here, back with a brand new video, and guys, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about sounds in Roblox. So basically, what are sounds? You may be wondering. Uh, sounds um, are like, you know, how you play music and stuff like that. You probably know what it is, but I'm going to be teaching you how to use them in today's video. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in uh, watching more scripted tutorials, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you do enjoy. But uh, anyways guys, let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first, um, what is a sound? Okay, so obviously, you probably know what a sound is if you're watching this video, but a sound is basically, you know, it's like a sound, and it's how you play sounds in your Roblox game. So, yeah. So basically, um, how you use these sounds, or how you make them. So, first things first, you need to actually create a sound instance, okay? And you do that by going over to the Explorer, and make sure you making sure your explorer is enabled so if you're if this isn't up here just double tap view go to explore right here click it and then it should be there and then you're going to go ahead and click the little plus button and then you're going to go ahead and type in sound and now you can put a sound in the workspace you can put it in your rep storage um or replicate it first you can put it wherever you want really um i i just put it in the workspace to keep it simple i guess um but yeah anyways now um, okay, so how do I get a song I want to play? So, um, you obviously, if you have a sound, you need to actually find out what sound you want to play. So how you do that is you go to the website, roblox.com, okay, and then I'll go ahead and just go to, um, here, I'll bring it over. I'll go ahead and just go to the catalog right here, okay, and then, uh, or not, sorry, not catalog, create, uh, my bad. Uh, let's go ahead and go to create. And then we'll go to uh, library, and this is like everything public. And then right here, you can see we have all our audio. If you click on this right here, you can go to audio. You can see all the audio, and the most popular ones are right here. So we can go listen to one. We can listen to Alan Walker Fade. You probably heard this song a million times in your life. We'll listen to it one more time. <laughs> okay, you probably know that. I'm sure you do. Sorry if that was a little loud. It's loud for me too. Um, <laughs> but okay, I don't know what the heck that is, um, but. Anyways, you get the point. Uh, <laughs> they have a lot of music on here, and you can use it in your game if it's on here, um, I guess. I don't, okay, so there's something you need to know when uploading sounds. Like, it may be against the rules to use certain sounds. Like, for example, like, this song, like, Moonlight, right? Like, this probably isn't good to use in your songs if you want, or good to use in your game if you want, like, to make sure you don't get, like, sued or anything. Because, like, in the long run, if someone finds out you're using their songs and you aren't given permission and it's not royalty and copyright free then um they could i guess sue you kind of but um it probably won't happen but if you're if you're planning on making a really big game you want to make sure everything's good um i would recommend either finding royalty free music or just making your own music um that works too so yeah uh, anyways, for this, for this example, we're going to find some uh, Kevin McLeod music. Uh, actually, how do you spell his name? I don't even know. Um, is this going to pop up? I don't think so. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, let me see. Oh, that's not playing. Okay. okay I think that's playing. Um, basically, Kevin McLeod, if you guys don't know who he is, he um, makes... Um, a lot of music and it's all like copyright free. I actually use a lot of him, a lot of his music in my other videos. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy right here into our um, studio. So we're gonna uh, click on this audio right here, whatever audio you want to use, and uh, click on it, and then go over here to the top or top of the link, and you'll see it says slash library slash your coach. This is the audio ID, and that's how you actually play it. Um, also, if you want to make your own audio, um, you can go ahead and go to the, oh, that, don't worry about that, uh, you can go ahead and go to the create audio, um, page, so how you do that is you go ahead and go over here, I'm going to create a new tab so I don't lose this, but, um, you go ahead and click on create, right, and then you go ahead and go over to audio right here, and I've actually never uploaded audio before, and then you go ahead and pick your file, I'm not going to click it because I don't really have a file I want to upload, but if you wanted to, that's what you do. And then um, the prices do range. Um, I'll show you right now. Oh, don't worry about that. Um, anyways, uh, so the audio is right here. Let me show you. So these are the prices. Okay, I'm just going to bring it over like this. And uh, as you can see here, you have 0 to 10 seconds. You have 10 to 30 seconds. And then you have 3 minutes or 30 seconds to 2 minutes, 2, seven, two minutes to 7 minutes. And basically, these are the prices for the audio. Uh, pretty simple stuff. 
Um, there's a, w w a wiki where you can read all about this if you want to. Again, I'll have the link in the description if I remember. So, uh, yeah. All right. Anyways, now that you have that, um, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go back to Roblox. If you uploaded your audio, copy the, the, the ID right there, and then go ahead and copy that, and go back to Roblox Studio in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on our sound right here, and we're going to paste in the sound ID. So press Control V, hit Enter, and then it's going to put the little RBX asset for you right there. Uh, that's what you need to do to like set it all up. And then actually you can hit Preview right here and it'll play. Um, making the preview already, and then you can change the volume. All obviously volume does that, so we can set it to one. Right now it's at 0 0.5, and now it's a little bit louder. We can set it to five. This might be ear rape, so sorry about that. Okay, it's a little bit loud. <laughs> uh, anyways, you get the point. That's what that is. Um, and then you have stuff like roll off mode. Um, this is like how it rolls off. So yeah, I uh, can look more about that if you want to. <laughs> um, and then you have sound group. You can make groups of sound if you want to do that. Uh, you, there's a little um, thing right here that says playing. So like basically, uh, this this you can't really change that in whenever you're like you know using this. I mean, I guess you can like set it and then it'll play once the game starts. But basically, um, the playing little uh, property is basically checking if it's playing, and uh, it's not how you play it, but it's how you can check so you can like notice if it's playing. Playback speed, obviously, you can play it at two times speed if you want to, and play a little bit faster. Uh, we'll keep it at one for now. That's the default. And then you have max distance. If your game or if your sound is inside of a part, right? Um, so like you, let's say you have an in-game radio, like a little part radio, right? Um, you put your sound in the part, and you see um, it's only gonna play 10,000 studs away, or 10,000 um, you know distance from that area, right? So that's pretty cool. You can have a little radio. Um, um, I'm not gonna do that for now, um, but if you want to, you can. Um, let's go back to the sound here, and then you have looped. So if you wanted to play again and again and again and again and then and uh, loop itself, and then that's what it does. Emitter size is how you like kind of make the size emit. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, not really sure what that does. Kind of forgot, but you can look it up if you want to. Um, <laughs> is loaded. Um, checks if the audio is loaded. Uh, is paused, obviously checks if the audio is paused, and then is, is playing, checks if the audio is playing, okay? Pretty self explanatory stuff. Now, if we were to go ahead and start the game, it wouldn't play, but we're gonna go ahead and insert a pretty simple script and make it play. So we're gonna go ahead and go over here to Explorer, go to Server Step Scribus, and uh, click on this little arrow or plus sign right here. I'm gonna type in script, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and type local workspace, or actually we'll do local sound, Okay, is equal to game dot workspace dot sound. There we go, and then we're going to do sound play. Okay, and that's it. That's all you have to do. And now this is pretty much the bare minimum of how you play audios. I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth in a second here. But if this is all you want to do, all you want to do is hit play. That's how you do it. That's simple. It's playing in here, right? It, it's playing. Okay, it's that simple. Now um, next. Um, what you normally want to do with audios, if you want to make a really good, well-built game, is actually load the audio first. And now, this isn't really, I guess, this isn't really a tutorial on content provider, but that's how you do it. You use um, this a service called um, local, you do local content provider, or actually, we'll just do game get service. The service is called content provider. That's the service right there, right? And basically, you do content provider um, preload as preload um, a sync okay that's what that's what the function is called and then you just yeah you, you just put your sound ID in there and basically um, whenever your sound first plays it needs to actually load so it doesn't start loading until you hit the sound play function or until you actually play it once you play it then it'll load and then it'll play but if you want to make sure there's no delays or anything you'd probably want to make sure that you load it first that way when you hit play and it takes a couple seconds to load or however long if someone has a slow pc or slow download speed or whatever you want to make sure that it's already downloaded and ready to play that way there's no delays in your audio and there's no like um kind of like yeah delays so makes sense right so what you would do um is just go ahead and do like this function right here that's it um you'd probably make it look a little bit nicer um you'd probably do like uh, local content provider uh, is equal to game get service um, content provider and then you do content provider preload async right and now obviously if you had a lot of sounds in your game like if you had a lot of um, sounds you probably wouldn't want to just do like copy this and do this and this and this and this and this right probably get pretty repetitive so what you normally do is you make a table 
right? So you would loop through all of your um, sound IDs, and normally you have them like a fold and rep relegated storage, so you can have like a fold in here. I don't do this right now, I'm, I'm demonstrating. Um, you can just call it music, whatever, or sounds, and then you put it in there, and then you just loop through, um, you just loop through that. So you do game rep storage um, dot sounds, uh, get children, right? And then you would just do uh, v dot pre, or no, you would just do actually preload, or no, content provider, preload is sync, audio, um, or no, sorry, yeah, sound. Or, or V, sorry, V. There you go. And then it would load it all for you in a loop, and you wouldn't have to type that. You wouldn't have to paste this all out. But obviously, you might want. To, you might also not want to, you know, create a new sound every time. That might get a little repetitive too. You might, you might want to, you might not want to create a new sound because that can get repetitive. You have to be like doing sound, sound. So you could probably just put it like the asset ideas in a table and then create the sounds. Um, that's what that's what I did, and I'll show you a little quick example here. Um, but basically. As you can see here, this is a little. This might look a little confusing for some people who are new to scripting. But basically, what it does is it just loops through um, a table, or like you'd have like a, you could put all of your like, um, you know, like uh, music in a in a in a thing, right? You could put like um, assets. We'll call it assets, right? Um, oh, sorry. We'll call it we'll call it audio, audio list. Okay, and then you would just loop through it all. You could make a table. And then you could put, you know, the name of your song, whatever you want to name it, fade. Um, and then you could put the name of the ID, which could be that. Okay. And then you'd obviously just copy it over, paste, copy it over, and then change this to your, you know, lucid dreams. Okay. And then you just type the thing, type the thing there. Okay. You get the point. And then you could just loop through that, create a new instance for it, set the sound ID. You can do audio instance dot sound ID is equal to RBX asset ID, and then concatenate it because you need to put that first. And then you name it, put it whatever you want, and then you can put it in the table. And then, and then you can also go ahead and load it like that, um, or you can load, preload async. Um, this also takes table values too, so audio list. And then it would load all your audio. So yeah. Um, but also, um, by the way, you do this in a client. Sorry. So yeah, if you would load your audio in the client, so that would be in a local script. If you did decide to load your audio, I'm not gonna go into detail on that because it, most people probably won't need it. But um, and like I said, this isn't a content provider tutorial. But you would probably put that in a local script, um, and maybe set it up through a module as well. Like set set up this function through a module, so you can have a table and stuff like that. So yeah, anyways guys, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, like always, subscribe, okay? Um, sorry if this tutorial was a little bit rushed. I'm in a, kind of a hurry right now. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, um, yeah, yeah, use code TAP, okay? I have a star code, use code TAP when buying Robux, okay? Um, <laughs> or premium. And uh, yeah, that's all I can say. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Um, script on. Okay, I'm not gonna say that. Just, just, <laughs> um, just keep scripting. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. That's that should be my motto. I should get that a thing. Keep scripting. Also, there wasn't much scripting in this tutorial. Um, it just it was kind of basic. Probably should have went in the beginner series, but whatever. All right, peace.